All the ladies, if you feel me, help me sing it out. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Xavier, and I'm back at y'all with another video. Y'all, I heard y'all like, Xavier, come on now. Girl, off the couch. <laughs> y'all, my couch so comfy. I love my couch, okay? Y'all know I'm looking a little crusty, dusty. I know I say that. I be seeing people in the comments like, Xavier, stop saying that. You look fine. Y'all know I come on here as I am, baby. I'm not getting all beat up, fixing my lace. Putting on lashes just to get on here in front of y'all, y'all my people. Okay, you gon' what the what God say? Come as you are, boo. Amen. Amen. Okay, as y'all can tell by that title today, I'm gonna be doing a mukbang, y'all. I found a new restaurant over here in my area. I'm gonna show y'all what I got. So, y'all, I found them on TikTok, right? <laughs> So I got this, look at this y'all. I don't know what made me get this. It's fries, it's chicken tenders on top of macaroni cheese, on top of french fries. Look at this. And they got some famous sauce that, that they created. Okay, the sauce decent. And then I end up getting some whole buffalo wings, y'all. Don't look out. That's why I was saying about Atlanta. Y'all look at these wings. I'm not gonna lie, this is a small wing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I shouldn't get the buffalo wings, but I could I could eat them. I could save them for later. But y'all look how small this wing is. That's why I was saying about Atlanta, like. But y'all, I just got some buffalo wings or whatnot. We're gonna do a little mukbang today. Mukbang. Mukbang. I'm gonna be talking about some things with y'all. Okay, I know mean, y'all like Xavier. You be talking about the kids, not you finna eat on that couch. Is <laughs> I'm gonna get into this first. I wanna taste this because macaroni and cheese on top of fries, on top of chicken tenders is big back activities. Okay, so let's get into this. Let's see. So I got the macaroni and the fries on there. They macaroni cheese good. Mm. Oh, see look, stuff popping out. It could have got on my couch. <laughs> now, as far as the fries, these fries would have been good if it was like them curly fries. You know what I'm saying? These like them checker fries or something. Did y'all hear that? Now let me tell y'all So I'm glad y'all just heard that. I don't know what this person upstairs be doing. But y'all, that's all day with them. It's like they got heels as feet. You know what I'm saying? Like the heel of your feet. It's like they whole feet is heels. Now I'm glad that y'all just heard that, y'all. That is all day i'm thinking about putting in a complaint because y'all they walk like this they walk like this that's how they walk like did y'all just hear that now what was that y'all that is all day like i'm not the, i'm not even gonna lie i'm not the type of person to complain because noise really don't bother me because i don't want who be blasting music early in the morning late at night you know what i'm saying i'm that person too but Come on now. Anyway, um, yeah, so this would have been good. This macaroni and cheese is good. This would have been good if it was them like curly fries. And let's try this chicken tender. Mmm, that chicken tender. Yeah, ma'am. It's decent. It's decent. They macaroni and cheese is good. Ooh. Mm. Yeah, but we're gonna get into some things, okay? We're gonna get into some things. So if you're watching this and you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Make sure you like this video right now. Like this video. What them kids be saying? Three, two, one. <laughs> like this video. Mm. Y'all, I didn't get none to drink. I didn't get us nothing to drink, but now 
For real though, yeah, I'm thinking about going back to Chicago. I'm not even gonna lie. And not permanently, you know what I'm saying? I'm thinking about going back for one year. Now y'all, hear me out. <laughs> hear me out, y'all. I'm thinking about moving back to Chicago for just one more year, y'all. Just one last year. Because I'm going to break it down for y'all. Like, one, I want to go back because I miss the food. Like, I tell y'all all the time, Atlanta do not have no good food. I'm telling y'all, I miss Chicago food so bad. Like, if I'm not cooking myself, because my cooking is pretty decent, we straight. But I'm talking about, like, on the night you don't feel like cooking, and uh you want to go out and get some it, we be having a hard time like like what do we want even z she be like i don't i don't even know you know what i'm saying so and then stuff here closed so early even in the city they restaurants close so early you know in chicago it could be 11 12 midnight you be like you want some wings you want this you want to you want a burger you want a philly you want it's options y'all feel what i'm saying it's options and they be open you can go to super subs on the west side at 1 in the morning, 12 in the morning, 11 at night, and get you a, a Garo cheeseburger. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, I miss that. It's not only about the food. It's about the time, too. Like, if we don't get nothing by 9 o'clock, y'all, we is not getting nothing good. Like, only thing over here that be open midnight is Whataburger. And if we don't get nothing to eat by 9 o'clock, y'all, everything is closed. Unless you go, like, to a bar or a club. You know what I'm saying? So, that's one reason. Um, The second reason is family, y'all. I feel like, I would I would say something about me getting older. But I don't even think about, it. it's about getting older. I feel like, I just want to be around my people before I settle. You know what I'm saying? And what I mean by settle is, like, finally choose until, okay, I ain't going nowhere else. This is, I'm in Atlanta. Because I don't see myself moving nowhere else. Like, if I stay in Chicago for one year and come back, it's going to be Atlanta. So, um, before I settle and officially be done with, like, moving and all that stuff, like, to another, to another state, I just want to, you know, chill and stay with my family at least one more time. And plus, I feel like I have... A lot to do a lot of a little bit more work to do family wise you know what i'm saying so like i'll be missing my sisters like i told you i got two sisters that we really close i'll be missing my sisters um i'll be missing a few friends that i do got in chicago and i'll be missing um my nieces y'all my niece my nephew y'all know my sister got two kids my brother got a son you know what i'm saying and i know people like they could come visit you you could go visit them it's not the same especially when people don't have the funds to constantly travel or people got a job people got to work like i can't bring the kids out there or the kids can't come out here because i gotta work they gotta come instead of me being there since i work because all my all my people work you know what i'm saying i do content so i basically work from home so me being in chicago in my little townhouse, because that's what I'm going to have. So, basically, instead of me being in Chicago, I'm a little townhouse. So, I, if my sister or my brother and I'm at work, I work from home. Bring the kids to me. I'm keeping the kids for the weekend. I'm keeping the kids for the holidays. I'm having Christmas at my house. Y'all, I haven't had Christmas with my family in so long. You know what I'm saying? And it's nobody's fault. Don't get me wrong. It's literally nobody's fault. It's nobody talk. It's just everybody have a life. You know what I'm saying? Everybody have a job. Everybody have a life. Everybody got bills. Everybody got, you know what I'm saying? Everybody can't jump, hop up and, oh, I got to buy Christmas gifts and travel. Everybody, we ain't rich yet. We don't got the means like that. So, yeah. Now, this is a lot. But this not going to show you is good. I know I shouldn't buy all this food. I can't waste my money. But I wanted to try it. But, yeah, we're not rich yet, you know what I'm saying? So everybody don't have the means to do a lot of stuff, you know what I'm saying? Like, fly the whole family out. Like, I want to have a whole Christmas. Everybody come, and y'all, I'm, I'm the person in the family. I know everybody got one of these in their family. I'm the person in the family where I bring the, my family together most of the time. You know what I'm saying? When I come to the city, 
everybody come to my Airbnb or when I come to the city, I'm bringing everybody out. You know what I'm saying? I'm that person in the family. So I know if I go back home and give me like a little townhouse or something, um, I can have Christmas, I can have Halloween, I can have Thanksgiving, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? It'll be it'll be a big ass bang for one last year. You know what I'm saying? That's how I'm thinking about it. And I told myself if I go back to Chicago, I gotta live 30 to 40 minutes away from Chicago. You know what I'm saying? I don't wanna live in a city. No shade. I'm sorry. I wanna at least live 30 to 40 minutes outside the city. I've been looking at a few suburbs that have some nice townhouses. I really wanna be in a townhouse because I'm telling y'all, if I move back, all my sister kids, my brother kids, I'm telling y'all, everybody's gonna be at my house. I'm that, I'm that person in the family. I'm telling y'all. I have to get a townhouse because everybody gonna be at my house. I'm telling y'all. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm, that's what I'm thinking about, y'all. <laughs> that's what I'm thinking about. I'm going to definitely have to get a tent. But, yeah, like I was saying, so it has to be 30 to 40 minutes away from Chicago. I really don't want to be in the city only because I want Z to go to a decent school. Not saying I know decent schools in the city, but I really want her no shade to still stay suburban. You know what I'm saying? And it's no shade to that. I want the best for my, my kids. You know what I'm saying? So it's no shade to nobody. It's no shade to that. I want to be outside of Chicago. So I want to be in a suburb for sure. I want to uh, get a townhouse. Um, and I just want to move back for one year, y'all. Just one last year. One last year. Just one more year. One more year. Just one more year. I think I could do one more year, y'all. I'm really, really thinking about it. I'm telling y'all, I'm really, really thinking about it. I think I could do one more year. Y'all know your girl's going to be 30 next year, so. <laughs> I feel like I could do one more year, y'all. I can do one more year. What y'all think? Comment down below. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all think Xavier could do one more year in Chicago? I think I can. I think I can. Y'all, they're not going to choose. Yeah. Mm. And whatever sauce they put on here is good, too. Z, how's your food? Good. <laughs> Y'all, my friend, cheese, good. Now, Z, Z just had cornbread, my friend, cheese, and fried chicken. But let me get into these hot wings, these liberty wings. But y'all, just my thoughts. Y'all, these wings is so little. Look, looks like I got a whole the wing. These wings are so little. I feel like I wasted my money. I really do feel like I wasted my money. I could have got one tray, but I know I wanted to be a big bag. But no, it's a new restaurant, so I wanted to try. You know what I'm saying? Mm, maybe I'll eat it later. This is too much. <laughs> but, no, y'all, what y'all think? What y'all think about that? So, for me, it's more of... Uh, Family, being back, gathering with my family, the food, and making more memories. Like I said, just making more memories. And I know Z, we miss her cousins and stuff like that. Even though we're not going to permanently live in Chicago, I just know she will feel like so good just to spend like a whole. I know she ain't going to want to go back. She ain't going to want to come back. <laughs> I might not even want to come back, but... It all depends. One thing I do like about Atlanta, one thing I do like about Atlanta, y'all, it's so much to do. I honestly feel like, clock me if I'm wrong, I honestly feel like it ain't a lot to do in Chicago. You know what I'm saying? It's some stuff to do. You know, the museum, the zoo, the this, the that. But I'm talking about, like, Atlanta has always something new. It's always something to do. And I don't think they do that for us in Chicago. But we'll be having all these fairs. Now, don't get me wrong. I do be seeing fairs and stuff 
outside of Chicago and stuff like that. But it don't be as big as Atlanta. They be having fairs. They be having this. They be having, like, I feel like Atlanta be going out with a bang with all type of stuff, especially for the kids. You know what I'm saying? I feel like they have stuff in Chicago, but they don't have big stuff like that, like they got here. But that's one of the reasons why I love Atlanta. I feel like Atlanta is, like, a lot of stuff to do. Uh, it's family-oriented. Um... Your babies are just like you know, free here. You know what I'm saying? Like no shade, y'all know what I'm saying. I don't want to sound like Chicago just this when it's not. I'm just saying like that's why I like Atlanta. But one more year, y'all. <laughs> just one whole year, one whole year. I'm thinking about when this lease up, y'all, because they got a townhouse in the suburb. Now the suburb that I want to move to. Woo! The suburb I want to move to in Illinois, y'all, I love it. They have one of the best schools. It's 30 minutes from Chicago, 35 minutes from Chicago. And their townhouses is so pretty, y'all. Upstairs, downstairs, and it ain't that expensive. And they have a townhouse coming available. Now, this lease up in December. They have, a town, they have three townhouses coming available in October this year for, for what I've been looking at. So, I got to make a decision quick because when them townhouses come available, I'm going to have to pay this rent and whatever they want to hold it, hold that place in Illinois. You know what I'm saying? So, I got to really make a decision. <laughs> Z, yeah. you want to go to Chicago for one year? Yeah. You want to live there for one year? Don't get your hopes up. What? Don't get your hopes up. Papa Darnell went to Chicago for a whole week. Yeah, so Papa gonna be gone for a whole week. But yes, y'all, that's what I'm thinking about. What do y'all think? Like, I know y'all probably gonna be like, Xavier, just go at it. Life is short. You can do what you wanna do. That's one thing too that I love about content creation. You could just pick up and go. Cause you could always just pick up your phone and record everywhere you go. That's that's a blessing. That's a good thing about it. Um, so, y'all know I love, I enjoy doing this. Like, I really, really enjoy doing this. I really enjoy talking to y'all, recording myself, doing content, editing. The best part, and then it's crazy. A lot of people don't say this, but for me, people be like, what's the best part that I like about it? Y'all, I like editing. It gets shit off my mind. It's, it's like a, it's like a good, take about a good hour if I really want to put them real editing skills in there. It take about an hour, and for that whole hour, I just be... Like, that is, that's a piece of math for me. Like, for just a whole hour straight, I'm sitting at my computer desk and I'm just busy. You know what I'm saying? You know, once you busy, yo, ain't too much going on in your head. And I hate when too much going on in my head. You know what I'm saying? So, I love editing. Like, I love editing. I love editing. I love ed ed editing. <laughs> so, that's the best part I like about content. Because, y'all, I really love editing. I like stuff that keep me busy. And editing keeps me busy. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, y'all. Just go back to Chicago for one more year, y'all. One when this lease is up, I can take my couch, pack it up in a U-Haul. Let's go, we go. <laughs> I'm gonna take all this stuff, y'all. In the uh, it's so crazy because the townhouse that I seen, it looked just like this place right now, but it's two stories. So the bottom level is white cabinets, stainless steel, and everything. It looked just like this, like the open kitchen. It looked just like this. Um, and it got an upstairs and upstairs is just, uh, two rooms and downstairs is one room. So the place is really nice. And then I was already scoping the scenery. I like, I could take all my stuff. You know what I'm saying? So, y'all, I'm definitely thinking about it. I'm definitely thinking about it, y'all. I'm telling y'all, like, I'm, I really, 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 my main thing, y'all really, really miss my nieces. Like, my sister and them, they cool. But, like, I really, really miss my nieces. Like, I really, really miss them. Like, I will come to them because I have the advantage to. Like, I have the advantage to. Like, your your mom and dad work. Shit be happening, you know what I'm saying? But I don't. Well, I, this work, but like I said, I, I I travel for work, basically. So I can't travel for work, basically. So, I'd rather come to them. And, y'all, that's the type of person I am. Like, 
oh, my sister can't bring in my hair, or I got to work, I can't bring in my hair, or, you know, stuff happens. No shade, stuff happens. But if I'm able to do it, I'm going to do it. And then I can have my nieces at my house every day if I want to. After school, on the weekends, you know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm um, about, y'all. Like, I really, 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 really miss my nieces and my nephew and my sisters now, kind of, because... Yeah, yeah, so I don't want to go too on and on about it because then I'm going to change my mind. <laughs> but that's what I've been thinking about, y'all. That's definitely what I've been thinking about. Um, Like this video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, turn that post notification bell so you know it's baby. Uh, it's on your screen, y'all. Let me know what y'all think. Because I know a lot of people be saying, like, don't go backwards. And I don't feel like it's going backwards. I don't feel like it's, it's going backwards because what I'm doing now, like what's going to change? What I'm doing now, I could do anywhere. And I'm not trying to make excuses for it, but that's the, that's the honest truth. What I'm doing now, I can do this if I move to Houston, if I move to Florida, if I move to Chicago, wherever I, I go, I can do the same thing. You know what I'm saying? So ain't nothing going to change. It ain't stopping nothing. And... I don't know, y'all. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. But that's what I've been thinking about later. That's what I've been thinking about later, y'all. Mm. Let me know what y'all think. And I'm out. I love y'all. Bye. All the ladies, if you feel me, help me sing it out.